You know, these these last few weeks is just uh, just mental preparation. I'm physically ready. Um, now it's just mentally just getting focused on tasks ahead and just uh, following the game plan, man, and listening to my corner, man. That's my main focus for this play. Is it the hardest part, getting uh, waiting for the last two weeks? Is this the toughest part? Uh, yeah, I would say next week would be even it'd be even tougher because you know you have all the uh, you know you have the press conference and then you got all the interviews and stuff. I mean, it's a big huge fight pay per view, so. You know, it's a lot of stuff you got to do to sell the fight during the weekend. And that's the hardest part is just keep on talking and talking and talking about the fight, talking about the fight, and you're waiting, you're waiting. And then you go to the hotel room, and then you're sleeping, and you're waiting, and you're waiting. That's the hardest part, man. And then finally the weigh-ins will come. After the weigh-ins, then you get to eat anything you want, you know. And then after that, it's just a waiting game, a waiting game until that night. Of all the guys that you fought, where would you rank this guy? Oh, he's probably, one, uh, probably the best fighter, I mean, as far as uh, – to date, probably the best fighter I've ever faced um, because of his resume and what he's done in boxing. So he's fought nothing but the best. He's seen the best in the world. He's been in the ring with Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, the two best fighters in the world. Um, and, you know, it's nothing this guy hasn't seen. He's fought against all the best, Barrera, uh, Morales. I mean, he fought everybody, man. So um, this is, uh, he's toward, I feel he's towards the end of his career. You know, he's 40 years old. Um, you know, only a few fighters in the history of boxing have success over 40. He's one of them. Bernard Hawkins is another one. Um, and uh, he's fighting against a young gun, man. Did you see 24-7? Oh, I saw 24-7, yeah. Great I seen job. It. it was good. It was good work, man. It was It was surprisingly, uh, it was good. I wanted to see more. I was like, oh, that's it? Oh, I can't wait to the next episode. You know what I mean? I was watching it. It was good. Um, what did you think of his offer to have you come train with him oh, for a month? Oh, man, that's hilarious. Come on, man. <laughs> It took him until he was 40 years old and get a cheetah strength coach to, to come in and, and get his body looking like he's looking. And I've been looking like I've been looking since I was 11 years old. You know, I've had a six pack since I was 11 years old. Hard work and dedication, you know what I mean? And, and I've done it all naturally too. You know, you can look at my body now and we're gonna look, we're gonna look October 11th, we're gonna see who got the best body. You know what I mean? You can post it side by side. I know I'm gonna have the best looking body. I'm gonna be in the best physical shape there is. So. Um, everybody know me, man. You know, I'm, my body look photoshopped, it looked unreal, and I'm doing two drug testing just to show everybody and show the world that I'm a clean athlete. That this has all been hard work and dedication all the way through. Hard work and dedication. 365 days, I got a vein. Come poke me. I don't care. It, hey, I'm, I'm clean. I have no shame. I do the best testing there is in boxing or in the world. If you take a hair follicle, you won't find nothing. No, no illegal testosterone. Nothing illegal in my body. You know. You know, you might find a little, eh, you know, back in the day, you might find a little, you know, a little green, sticky, icky, icky, or something, you know. That's way back there, you know what I mean? You know, I experimented, I was young, and you know, but uh, other than that, I mean, you ain't gonna find nothing else, you know. So, hey, come on. You think Marquez is gonna be slower, or you think he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be not as strong? Oh, he's gonna be. I mean, he's gonna be strong without a doubt. He's a he's a naturally uh, strong guy, man. Big shoulders, back is like this, dude. I seen his back. I was like, God, his back get that damn big. It's wide, man. Wide in that damn door. So uh, he's gonna be definitely strong. Um, I think he's gonna be a little. He's gonna try to be quick. He's gonna try to be a little bit more elusive, you know. But let's see how long that shit lasts. Let's see if it lasts, you know, the whole fight. I doubt it. I mean, I still think age is a huge factor in this fight. Um, I'm quick, I'm younger, and uh, I feel like I'm more durable towards the end of the fight and towards the middle of the fight. Do you think? Well, I mean, there's a couple of ways you can.